Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of PGR4. Um, previous episode was very short, I had to cut it short, um, <coughs> stop it short because uh, I forgot to re enable the higher quality settings that I used throughout the playthrough. Because in the Nurburgring events, in the uh, episode before it, uh, there was quite some slowdown, so I had to use a lower quality mode. Um, because the event was so hard, I really um, couldn't use any stuttery frame rates. But that lower quality mode has a lighting block that the, where the light sources actually don't emit much brightness. So the screen is way too dark. Uh, so I uh, now uh, I stopped that episode. Uh, we are now doing the final chapter uh, of the whole playthrough. Um, and we got that first stage, the first medal, and then I had to stop it. I re-enabled, uh, stopped the emulator, re-enabled the high quality mode, and now we will continue with the second medal. Uh, although I did find, um, it's really weird, but there, it, it seems to be much more stuttery than it was before. Normally that high quality mode, it was really pretty playable. I did all the um, episodes in that mode, except for the two Nurburgring events. Or four if you... No, two. I only did uh, one of the two uh, versions of the Nürburgring events. So you had like the regular direction and the reverse direction. And I think I only did the reverse direction uh, in cars and in bikes in the low quality mode. There was the, the slowdown was really noticeable. I don't think it was noticeable in the, um, the other Nürburgring events or in any of the other events in the playthrough. But now that I re-enabled it, I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to be more stuttery. Maybe it's just coincidence and it is just this one specific stage. But yeah, we will have to wait and see. Anyways, um, a lot of rambling. Let's uh, do this speed challenge. We will be taking the turbine bike because it is by far the fastest bike uh, in this class. Holy shit, we need to do 12 laps. Oh no, 12 cameras. I was 12 laps. I was like, holy shit, that's a bit long. But then it will probably be a very long uh, track. This could be quite tricky because these different track layouts, they're often just different variations of the same track sections from other layouts. So you recognize... Um, a certain section and then you anticipate like oh after this section a right hander comes up but then it is just a different section glued to to the one that you're currently in with like not a right hander but a left hander coming up so to say so it can be really confusing that you're partly recognizing the different uh, corners but they are laid out in a different order so um, yeah it, it, it's like a new layout um, but like a totally new layout would be less confusing than um, a mixed up layout consisting of known sections just in a different order, if that makes any sense. But um, anywho, we have 12 cameras to tackle in only two and a half minutes or so, almost three minutes. That's actually, it, I would say, not that much time. You do notice 30 FPS actually compared to 60. Normally I'm really like... I'm always really more for... The graphical fidelity compared to frame rates. But having played now the mirror bringing 60,
That really is a big, a big difference. Right, we should be more or less on track. This bike has so much grip and speed, it's pretty ridiculous. we make it? Yes, we did. Barely. Very nice. Alright, overtake challenge. Ah, wait! I was like... Why do we do everything on the turbine bike? Can't we select it? But that is if you just continue to the next event, you just stick to the, the same bike. But you can change it if you uh, go, go back to the menu. But actually, it's a little bit boring doing all this on the turbine bike, but it's so much faster than the other one. So I will just stick with it. I do want to make some progress because this playthrough is already so long. Uh, and the other bikes really top speed, they are, this has top speed 10 and the other bikes have, one has 5 and the other has 3. So you really want to use uh, this bike, I would say. Um, let's restart. Ah, it's against cars. Right, already very bad start. like the maybe the FXX FX AA is not enabled or something um, which button was that again bringing up the menu I have no clue F1 no oh sorry no I'm not sure. Uh, one moment. Where the hell is that? One second. Toggle hotkeys. I forgot how you get into the menu. Be 
because I see much more jaggies, etc. Ah, post-processing settings. NVIDIA fast. No, it has FXAA enabled. All the settings appear to be the same as what it was. So, ah, that was F6 is the uh, post-process settings. Anyways, let's just continue. <laughs> sure there is something not totally fine here it really looks yeah I do see the difference it looks super jaggy etc all right whatever we're almost done in the playthrough. Ah, does this bike actually have... Three gears. I thought it only had two gears. Uh, maybe it does have only two. much quicker I didn't even see the seventh uh, vehicle I don't know, I really don't know what's up with the game, but it looks way worse than it did before. And I have the exact same settings. The only thing I change is low to high quality setting in the emulator, plus kept frame rate at 30 instead of 60. And it looks so much more jaggy and, and flickery than it did before, really weird. I wonder whether other settings automatically change when you change that renderer uh, quality setting. A little bit bummed out by that. Or maybe I'm just imagining. so bad. Come on.
you really hit that Ferrari at a tricky moment to pass it in that corner. Should just be quicker and pass him earlier. I think I'm shifting up too early. Try, but I would also like to fix the very bad image quality. All right, let's just finish this event with the bad image quality. This is what I mean. That's the corner that I was really screwing up. Man, the image quality is so atrocious. Piles up with it.
and there we go. Alright, let's hopefully, maybe... Alright, time for the Scudos. We need a different bike. We need a drift bike for that. Um, but... I am also really wondering why the image quality is so bad. Let me check the config file. Because there is some kind of super sampling I think possible. Internal display resolution 16, yeah. That's 1920 times 1080. Post processing is FXAA, indeed. So the config file seems to be correct. I really didn't change anything. One moment. Just browsing through it. It's quite a long file. And the main thing that you can change is the um, I have to find it, I cannot find it. The render methods. One moment. Where the hell was it? Alright, I, I can just control F, but I just know it becomes a project in itself. I just want to find it manually. Ah, here it is. It is the render target path. It's either ROV or RTV. ROV requires uh, a rasterizer ordered GPU, highest accuracy. Performance limited primarily by overdraw. That's the one that we have set, so... Yeah, it all looks to be as it should, so let's just continue. We only have three more things to do anyways. We have a time versus kudos, so that means drifting to stop the clock. Um, it's a pretty long track, it looks like. And we will be taking this bike, which has a high drifting capability. Oh, by the way, yeah, we want platinum, of course. Why was it on bronze? That's probably because I changed that while getting out of the menus. need the uh, kudos huts to know th uh, that we don't exceed the max amount of kudos because otherwise we cannot stop the clock anymore um, let's restart I have to just get to grips it's much easier to do this in third person view I think but let's just um, try to do it in first <laughs> Above a certain 
enough speed for it to generate all those. Mm-hmm. 
if I would have made a mistake, I would have failed. Alright, and the screen tearing also seems less, so maybe the game just had to... Uh, the flickering, etc. It seems to be resolved, so maybe the game had to save or something since the uh, render change. I don't know. Anywho, um, it looked pretty okay to me. And now we have a cone sprint, but we need a different bike for that. So let's go and grab a different bike. Um, I have to do a very quick uh, sanitary stop. We'll be back in a second. Back at it, two more stages to go. It feels a little bit unreal. All right, um, we need a car with acceleration, top speed and grip. So we could use this one. But again, if I look at the turbine bike, it's so much better, the stats, although it has less grip. Now let's mix it up. Let's try to do it with this bike. It has slower acceleration, slower top speeds, but it has one point more grip. And I think also one point more brakes. Ah, no, three points more brakes. All right, what bike is this? This 750cc endurance racing bike, the NR stands for new racing, is a prime example of Honda's efforts to bring four-stroke power to Grand Prix motorcycle racing. All right, but if it's an endurance bike, it's probably not the most agile. At least that's not what I equate to endurance. But um, we will have to wait and see. It's a long one, it's four minutes. This is probably a tricky one. Feels really, yeah, compared to the, um, of course, that was an A class bike. I think this is C class. Uh, I do recognize the. Um, the track from the car uh, when we did it in the cars. It is quite tricky, but yeah, what do we want to do? Do we want to continue this bike? It feels very um, mushy. A little bit all over the place. Compared to the bike in the Nurburgring. By the way, we don't need uh, the Kudos hut anymore. See you later.
wanted to say, I already hit several cones, but didn't got a penalty. But this one, yeah, that really was 100%, 200% penalty. I had it, hit it smack on. Um, but man, this the, the, it feels a bit stuttery. The, the, the frame rate, etc. It's it's jerky. The the bike in combination with the performance of the game now suddenly. In, previously, I've maybe it's a placebo, but I felt that the it all uh, handled a bit more smooth. But probably it's just me. six or so does i do think it's possible in this bike let's try it again on this bike not in this bike wow. key god damn it it's like a bank safe key from the middle ages i don't know if they had bank safes in the middle ages i assume so In the, in the Nürburgring events, because they were so daunting, I really didn't have frustration. In these smaller events, I much earlier hit my frustration limit. I don't know what that is. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me so fucking hard, man. This bike, it's really easy to swerve all around where you don't want it to. frustrating. Normally I like the cone challenges, but on this bike it's a bit annoying. Controls. It swerves all over the place. prefer the Nürburgring events above this. Wow, wow, wow. 
god. Oh my fucking god.
my god. I don't know. It feels... I do think it's possible on this bike, but it feels so jerky. I can barely make out where I'm going. Alright, let's give it a couple of more tries and otherwise I will just uh, use the, uh, the turbine bike. Normally I really want to stick with my selection of bikes because it feels a bit cheap just getting a faster vehicle and win that way. Um, unless it's of course theoretically impossible to win with your uh, initially selected vehicle. but. Yeah, I also would really like to make some progress in this bike, it's just, I find it annoying. I found the sound, uh, yeah, not really appealing. Um, and it swerves so much and it's maybe also, again, I've, me, but I thought that previously the game performed a bit better. It feels so jerky and flickery and shimmery the whole the whole picture it's really hard at speed to make out where you have to go uh, especially if you're swerving around on this bike but yeah let's at least try it <laughs> So we have 159. So we could do two 159s, then we are below the 402 marker, but then I will only make it without hitting cones. So no hitting cones, because then you get a three second penalty. Oh, my God. 
got. bike man it controls so fucking annoying shit Oh, 
event so fucking frustrating Oh, my God. 
event in the um, playthrough. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I have to, I have to think, but in, in the cars this may have been a very hard one. Anyways, I need a bigger, uh, a faster bike. Let's uh, get the turbine bike. At least, assuming this is class C still. All right, so this bike, I really didn't like that much. It's probably a great endurance bike, a grand tourer, but not to really slalom around. This one is um, more of a stunt bike, like a uh, high drifting, low top speeds. And then we have this one, which really is um, about speed and acceleration. Man, 
this is a long event. There are only a few eliminations so far. It's so weird, it's so serene driving without suns. This is what I was afraid of. It is still possible to fail. You don't know the trick that well. Fuck this shit. Sorry, I'm just a little bit annoyed still from that previous uh, event.
quick for a bike. I'm so frustrated now. These are not even that hard events, but they take forever. And also me making mistakes with shifting. Fuck this shit, man. It's so, sometimes you forget to shift because you don't hear the refs. Or not, not clearly. Here we go again. These bikes, it's all about controlling the swerve.
Oh my god. How hard is it not to crash? You can actually modulate the throttle with this one better than I expected. I didn't, I really use it as an on off switch. I don't think that's the way to do it. Holy shit, almost put it up again. Such an idiot. Holy shit, almost falling off my bike while we're almost at the elimination time. Really weird moments, but after uh, I think 121 episodes, 122, we completed the uh, full campaign and all the platinum medals. And I am actually pretty damn happy with that. So um, these are all the chapters. You have it for cars and bikes. So 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five is uh, cars only, six is bikes only. Ah, no, I'm counting wrong, sorry. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six is cars only, five. No, five is cars only, four is bikes only. Three, two, and one, and it are all platinum medals. And then uh, the career modes, um, I cannot really show that each 
uh, stage, each single stage was a win, but it's all locked in the playthrough. Uh, and this is like the, the next season, so it's just season five. We did four seasons, we did uh, participate in all the stages and got a win in each and every one of them on the hardcore. So, really happy. Uh, let's see if we just for fun can buy something. Yes, we can buy a gamer picture and that's for the rest. I unlocked everything. Also the stuff that I don't need, like multiplayer stuff. Just for completionists, so let's do the gamer picture. The million kudos gamer picture. Alright, gamer picture pack. I'm not sure what we can do with that. Uh, can we do appearance and then picture or something? No, not here. I don't know where you uh, change your gamer picture, probably for an online functionality or something. Um, anyhow, let's quickly do a last step through the... Uh, where is the garage? Through the garage, just for fun, where we started and where we ended up. And um, I will also afterwards, before continuing other games, I will be doing uh, a brief review episode with my impressions. I made some notes on the um, on the game while playing through it. You see all the um, cups over there. There are some more wall posters, it seems. Um, anywho, I made some notes during um, playing, things that um, I noticed that I liked. A very minor one or two that I disliked. And um, I will be sharing that in a short playthrough episode. Right, this one we also, we already saw all the garages. I'm just curious if there's something new maybe. This is a pretty cool bike, Harley Davidson VR1000. Apparently according to the description I think it is only road legal in a few countries, don't know why. The RS500, epic car. And I learned from this game that that is a trellis, trellis frame or something. Trellin frame? Wait, I will quickly look that up because I actually looked it up before. Trellin frame, maybe. Trailing frame. Trellis frame. Um, and that comes from a gardening, from like a great thing to uh, grow plants on or something. Alright, very nice. But I will maybe still do this episode because I'm not gonna spend a separate episode on it. Maybe we just quickly browse through all the vehicles and we quickly hop into some vehicles that we did not get a chance to use. Man, the car lineup is so amazing. The COK GTR, the Jaguar, the Merc, or CLK. This is the COK GTR, right? Or is that the COK GTR? Uh, maybe that's the COK GT1. I don't know. Here, all the cups are filled. So 
see if there are some new pictures. Yeah, it does appear that there are way more paintings and uh, pictures hanging around. What's this? The air, the rockets. All right. I thought I, wa I was confused with the aerial atom. All right, not that much here except for some city emblems. Man, this was a ride this played through. So much frustration, but also so much fun and sense of accomplishment. I'm really happy that I went through this whole campaign. Um, and the Master Garage, we looked at this one not that long ago. One of my favorite TPR, one of my favorite cars, just because it's so mental. The Sagaris. Testarossa, epic car as well. And there's a little bit funky about the, the rear textures, but a cool V10 BMW M5. Find it a really cool car, but I would not really buy one myself. Maybe I would buy the generation before it. And then here, the um, Japanese racers. For the tuner cars. Las Vegas, Tokyo. And there we have the Supra in the RX-7. We unfortunately, the emulator cannot play that uh, Geometry Wars game. Then it, the emulator crashes. Here we have Knight Rider, Epic, Enzo in Shanghai or Tokyo, I don't know, or Seoul. I forgot which cities are all in here. I think maybe all of them. And Nürburgring in the snow and in the sun, just like in the game. And all the cups, all the cup places have an actual cup. Well, I would maybe expect two cups on this table, unless I overlooked something, but I'm really 99.9, .9, actually 100% sure that we did everything in the game. Well, I'm not sure why there is not one more cup on that table. Looks like it has room for it. Nice detail, alarm system, or something along those lines. Man, I wish I had a house like this. And only one of the cars would be enough for me. Okay, imagine, not so much the cars in the house, but if you have this much money, the time that it allows you to do fun stuff, it would be so amazing. Uh, anywho, let's get out of this one. I wanted to quickly see, I've, I cancelled out of this one too quickly. I wanted to quickly see that car, what brand it is. That's one of the cars that, for example, we didn't drive yet, I think. Or if we did very briefly, this one. Uh, it's a weird car. The name is Supercar. Joss. Looks pretty cool, actually. All right, let's quickly see if there are any cars or bikes that we really didn't use and take them for a quick spin just to make sure we didn't miss out on any amazing sounds, etc. So we will just do time attack. Uh, where will we drive? So we have Macau, Tokyo, Shanghai,
which other city did I mention uh, a couple of minutes ago? Three Asian cities. Uh, Seoul maybe, uh, but it's uh, Tokyo, Shanghai and it's Macau actually that are in the game, the Asia's Asian cities. Uh, let's go to... Yeah, I don't know where actually. Maybe the Nürburgring? Uh, weather, let's do uh, sunny. And here we go. Let's do all classes. Holy shit, there are quite some vehicles in this game. Maybe I will do that in a separate episode because this episode is already quite long. So yes, I will do one extra episode just to uh, check out some cars that we didn't drive yet. For example, this one I think we did, but this one I barely uh, used. Um, just to make sure that we touched each and every aspect of the game. It's a deep playthrough after all. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in that episode. And after that one, I will also still do um, a quick uh, review episode. And that would really, then really conclude the um, uh, deep playthrough of PGR4. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you there. And for the meantime, don't forget always to keep on gaming. Flitter.